set. So Suharto now in an awkward spot. He made a play. He was caught. And when he folds here, he's going to have maybe 10 or 12 big blinds left. Devon's work is done. He waits on the sideline. Suharto has to fold. And he does wave yeah! the white flag after giving up over 11 million chips. This is starting to have a Rocky Four feel to it. Suharto gave up most of his stack on a move that did not work. And the Russian contingent loves their favorite son, who's recaptured the chip lead. Well, Darus waved the white flag. Our Russian comrades waved the hammer and sickle. Demidov once again the man to beat. Step two. Let the loading begin. Nine million dollars being sorted, stacked, and prepped for transfer to the Penn and Teller Theater. The 2008 World Series of Poker, presented by Milwaukee's Best Light, main event, final table. Back inside the Rio and the Penn & Teller Theater, which echoes with chance for Dennis Phillips. <laughs> you know what? They don't even do that in other sports, man. So that's pretty hot. Indeed, poker is a sport like no other. Let's now take a look back at some of the more unique moments from the 2008 World Series with Norman Chad and this final installment of The Nuts. The end of the main event. A chance for poker's most prestigious prize. A chance for a flushie. 2008 was the year of firsts, as we saw many great players win their first bracelet. One. Sure, Lindgren's first win was nice, but I appreciated his first attempt at marital advice even more. By most of Norman Chad's relationships fall apart. Maybe if he had a little more trust in his relationship, they would last. Yet nothing could top my first on-air proposal. Will you marry me? Anyone hoping to be my number four deserves their first flushing. The Havad Khan rule had an effect on... Well, Havad Khan. But like water through a dam, great characters found their way. Some players stand out with all the noise they make. We put to the well. While others stand out with their sense of style. Some I don't like. Say hello to Peter. And some I just can't get out of my head. Not that, Antonius. Patrick, we hate to see you leave, but I really enjoy watching you walk away. Patrick, you had me at hello, and now you get a flushy for goodbye. This was a year that saw some of the baddest of bad beats. Including a runner-runner that sent the survivor packing. But perhaps the worst beat of all... Queen Adolf. ...goes to anyone... Idiot player. And I mean anyone... Idiot player. ...who sat wow. anywhere in the vicinity of Phil Helmuth. <laughs> Idiot players call races with Queen 10. They don't even know how to spell poker. So to you, the masses... No, he didn't. ...yearning to break free of his rants... ...call the f***ing race with Queen 10. Another Queen 10! I offer some solace. You are an idiot. A collective flushy for putting up with the poker brat. Idiot from Northern Europe. And there is the poker brat who has been relatively quiet today as a final table spectator. And hey, look, it's an idiot from Northern Europe who just made break Phil Helmuth's record as the youngest main event winner ever. Ha! All right, back to action here. More unique moments to come, I am sure. Chino Reed, the short stack, looks down at ace-king. I'm all in. And all pushes in. all in. He's got just under three million chips. Chino says he was broke, busted before this main event. He has resurrected himself by making the final table. Chip leader Ivan Demidov with pocket nines. I call. And he will indeed call and put Chino Ream at risk. And you may recall it was Demidoff all in with pocket nines against Chino's pocket tens late in the main event. And Demidoff had to hit a flush on the turn to stay alive. A number of poker pros came together tonight to support Chino. His ace king racing against the pocket nines. Chino's tournament life at stake. Ivan Demidoff trying to knock off a player from this championship table and extend his chip lead. That hat would have helped my second honeymoon. <laughs> We've seen Chino catch cards to come from behind all through the main event. He needs to do that here to stay alive. The flop now, 7-8-5. Boy, that does not help Chino. Demidoff with pocket nines and now a straight draw. Chino still looking for an ace or a king. Chino Reem at risk. Turn card now is a king.
has had close to nine lives at this main event. Demidoff not done, though. So Demidoff's going to need a nine or a six for a straight to knock out Chino Reed. And now the river card is a jack. Chino Reed will double up. The pros rejoice. And we have finally put a small dent into that Soviet juggernaut. <laughs> And the Demidoff contingent is deflated. Yvonne ships some of his stack to Chino Reem, who needed them right, in the baby. worst way. He's still got a long uphill climb. Chino says, if I win, it was just meant to be. He's still got a flicker of hope. Never easy. Man, the flow was so good for me. <laughs> so Chino's main event luck holds out once again. He doubles through Yvonne Demidoff. We look at our eight trade financial chip count now and see that despite that blow, Demidoff is still the chip leader. He has 30% of the chips in play. Elon Schwartz in second place. Dara Suharto now the short stack. So Chino Reem hoping he's got some momentum. Jack 10 off suit. He's going to try to make something happen. A raise to 1 million. And that 1 million represents 15% of Chino's remaining chip stack. Action to the chip leader. Demidoff gives it up. Peter Eastgate from Denmark gives it up now. Dennis Phillips with ace queen in the small blind. Makes a call. Dennis says that even if he wins the main event, he will be back at Broadway Truck Centers. Maybe he'll buy the company. <laughs> Elon Schwartz in the big blind has pocket queens. Elon says if he wins the main event, he's going to go someplace far, far away where no one can find him. He re-raises to $4.4 million. Bless you. That is one polite short stack. Well, there's a man who sees everything that's going on. Chino, the original razor. He doesn't want to give up these million chips. Need some help from sheets and backs right here. But he gives it up. Painful muck pre-flop for Chino. The raise now back to Dennis Phillips with Ace Queen. He started this day as the chip leader. I'm all in. And Dennis Phillips will push with the rest of his stack. Doyle Brunson knows of what he speaks. Ace Queen looks like it's headed for elimination. And Lon Schwartz will call to put Phillips at risk. Dennis will need to have that lucky coin do its job again. What a free fall for Phillips. The chip leader coming into the final table, staring at seventh place. I wanted you to have jacks. I wanted at least a race. Elon Schwartz, though, with Queens and a chance to knock off Dennis Phillips with his ace queen. And if he eliminates Phillips, Schwartz will regain the chip lead. So here we go. Dennis Phillips on his feet. And the flop, and there's an ace! Phillips takes the hand away from Schwartz for the moment. I guess Tony La Russa made a pitching change, and Dennis Phillips is back on track. <laughs> Don't you love you love this game. Ace Queen plays in St. Louis. <laughs> Turn card now. Six, no help to Schwartz. One outer. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Phillips says, don't show me the last queen in the deck. That is the only card Schwartz can hit to send Phillips home. The river card is a Phillips doesn't live here, but this is like a home game for him. Dennis Phillips doubles up and is a factor once again. That coin's called a fat dollar, and his chip yep. stack just got a lot fatter. Sorry, man. All right. Nice hand. Elon Schwartz got unlucky and had to give up almost 30% of his stack. Nice hand, sir. No, it wasn't. But I'll damn well take it. He sure will. And the sea of Broadway Truck Center shirts and Cardinal caps come alive again. Dennis Phillips is back in the game.